Let's talk about deflate gate. Although there are several stories speculating on punishment for the Patriots and Tom Brady, NFL sources tell us that no decision has been made as of today. Uh, here's what we do know. A suspension for Brady is certainly possible, and a decision could be made as early as this week. Mike Reese, our Patriots reporter, wrote, I truly can't believe what the commissioner has done to the legacy and reputation of one of the greatest quarterbacks and ambassadors in the history of the game. All over air pressure in a football and without definitive proof he had anything to do with it. Ryan Clark, our NFL analyst, tweeted the following last week. We all were generally aware that the Patriots pushed the rules. We also knew it was more probable than not that they cheat. No news here. Obviously, played against the Patriots before. Ryan, let's talk about Tom Brady. Uh, Mike Reese is trying to say that he's paying a price for what the Patriots' reputation is. Do you believe that yeah, will happen? I think that plays into it. It definitely does. You talk about a team uh, involved in Spygate, and that was a huge deal. You know, if people feel like they won Super Bowls mm -hmm. uh, through Spygate. Uh, I played in Pittsburgh. When you play in Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots were always fighting for that AFC championship, always fighting to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, and being around a lot of men who never make excuses, I heard them say, man, every play we call, I felt like they knew which play was coming. Really? Being against, wow. uh, playing with guys who, I would just say this about him, so obviously you're going to know who he is, one of the most unpredictable defensive players to ever play the game said, man, every time I would blitz, even if it was called, it was like they knew. They had the correct play call for it. And so when you think about things like that, as far as the players and the coaches are concerned, there's definitely a history uh, of cheating that has gone on with the New England Patriots. Now, you look at this situation. I got to practice with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady uh, this fall. And you got to watch them practice. Tom Brady, if there's a 15-yard uh, comeback and you don't run 15 yards, he's on the guys. If the ball's not right, he doesn't have the ball centered where he wants it. If it's not on the right hash when the play's supposed to be there, he's talking to the ball boys. He's getting the equipment managers lined up and where he wants them to go. Bill Belichick wouldn't even go to the offensive field when Tom Brady was over there with the offense running the place because he had that much control over there and Bill oversaw everything. So when you look at this situation, quarterbacks who don't win football games, who don't win Super Bowls, have the balls exactly how they want the balls. And if they're not, the equipment managers, the ball boys, they have to fix it. So to think that Tom Brady knew nothing about what was going on with these balls or didn't order them to have them a certain way would be foolish. Mm -hmm. Now the punishment you look at Carolina, they had a, a situation to where, you know, they had stick them on, they had stick them on, San Diego had San stick Diego, them on, yeah. um, on their towels, like you know, they were punished. Mm -hmm. Atlanta Falcons, pumping crowd noise into the stadium. Mm -hmm. They were punished, they lost, a, uh, they lost a draft pick, they were also fined. The this Vikings is, and Panthers were the, heating their balls. Heating their balls but they were warned, degrees. right? They, didn't right. Get any, they got warned. They, they, they got, got warned. warned. Mm -hmm. So this situation, when you bring up the report, when, when Ted Wells becomes involved, when it's such a huge game, when it's such a big deal, and you combine that with what the Patriots have done previously, Tom Brady's definitely going to pay a price for it. He gained a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. If you take PEDs, you gain a competitive yeah. advantage. Those people miss four games. I look for Tom Brady to be uh, suspended for four games. You're saying he deserves it? I think he does. Um, are you also saying that when you pointed out how Bill Belichick was on the other side of the field focusing on the defense, is that your way of saying that Bill Belichick had nothing to do with this? The report says Bill Belichick. I know that, but I'm asking you. No, that wasn't my way of saying that. That was my way of saying Tom Brady truly has control on what's going on. In other words, he has control on what's going on with that team, and it could very conceivably have nothing to do with the head coach because he's preoccupied with other things. Does he trust that Tom Brady just do what Tom Brady wants to do? Yes. But that's what I've been saying. All along. And that's why you're wrong. That's, you're a, well, that's what I've been saying, and I'm right, mm -hmm. because here's the deal. First of all, I believe I was right. Then Ted Wells validated it, because what I've been saying, Ryan, is exactly what you were saying about Tom Brady. When this man sat across from me, no, 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 Tom Brady, oh, no, 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 not, not, the, not the choir boy, not the, oh, no, 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 not, not the man with the supermodel wife, not the dude, not the dude with, uh, that does nothing wrong. I said, no one touches the football more than he does. He's the no, quarterback. He should be suspended for no, four games. I'm talking about before the Wells report came out. Okay. I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about. When it first, when news first broke about the flake gate, I was like, "There's no way he didn't know." When he said, "I don't know," I said the press conference was awful. We agreed on that. He was absolutely awful. wasn't convincing at all. But I'm, I've contended that Bill Belichick is preoccupied with too many other things to be wondering about the weight of a football. He's probably told people, "Do what Tom Brady tells you to do." 
Whatever he needs you to do, do it. And then be done with it. And he goes about his merry way because he doesn't have to throw the football. His quarterback has to throw the football. He might have done that. But in terms of sitting there and going like this, let's, 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 let's lower the pressure of the football. I just find it hard to believe that Bill Belichick is preoccupied with such a thing. Having said all of that, where I veer away and I understand I defer to football players because I didn't play in the NFL. My whole thing is air pressure to football rarely, 45 to 7, you stomp it. It's not about the, it's about yeah, the intent. That the intent. It does, it's the intent. I get all of that. But in the end, I'm just looking at it, and I thought it was much ado about nothing. But all of you guys in the NFL, you feel differently instead of Teddy Bruschi. Teddy Bruschi is like, look, he doesn't believe a word, a word about this about yeah. Tom Brady. Not a word about it. I mean, you're supposed to ride with your guy. It don't work like that on first 48, but I guess you can do it here. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can do it here. I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no way that Tom Brady did not know. There is no way he does not deserve to be suspended. He definitely deserves about four games, but I believe Bill Belichick deserves zero. Oh, really? Zero games? Well, did yes. you listen to Mr. Clark's opening soliloquy in which he told you that for years and years, Ryan and his people Pittsburgh Steeler teammates believed there was a culture of cheating in New England. Can I answer that? Am I right? I yes, he did say that. He yeah, answered that. Yes. Did Hugh, that come from Tom Brady? Hugh Douglas used to work here. Hugh Douglas once said to me the thing that drove them crazy. They've never seen a quarterback like a Dan Marino, for example. It didn't matter what call they made. He'd literally walk up to, Dan Marino would walk up to the line of scrimmage and he would tell you who's going to do what he knew everything. And it drove them crazy because he figured, I guess I was under the assumption that the great, great, great quarterbacks they're know the so much hey, that they think they, they, we're not talking about what the quarterback calls at the line of scrimmage. We're talking about knowing what your defensive call is. Yeah. Yeah. The blitz is coming I, from from his but I did, but that's, but that's what I was just, unnamed. But that's what I mean. We know who you're talking but, about. But I just but that's what I just said. In other words, I'm saying that's what they're saying the great quarterbacks know that. Hey, that's I, what I was told. I don't know. He, he's saying pre-snap they're 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 either intercepting the signals or something is happening back to Spygate where they were videotaping the defensive signals during the first half so that they could decipher them at halftime so they would have a better idea to call it from the press box with binoculars. They could signal down to the offense they're going to blitz whatever the, right. the defense called is. That's a culture. That's a history of cheating. So my point to you is Tom Brady is going to get punished in part because of the culture that was set up by Bill Belichick. And we're going all the way back to the first Super Bowl that they won when they were accused post-Super Bowl by the Rams of video videotaping the, the Saturday walkthrough. Remember that? Yeah. Now, again, they denied it. I don't know what happened, but the Rams were adamant that they got videotaped, and they said they had evidence. Nothing ever came of it. Then the Panthers were adamant. They got videotaped the night before, the, the Saturday walkthrough before their Super Bowl loss to the Patriots. So there's two. And again, where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't know what came out of either. Nothing came out of either one of them. But both teams are still adamant. Remember, Marty Herney during Super Bowl week talked openly about it yes. on his radio show. Yeah. He said, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to my, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but I'm going to go to my grave thing, knowing that they taped, they videotaped our workout and gave them a distinct advantage over us in the Super Bowl game the, the following day. So my point is, you don't think Bill Belichick would know if Tom Brady were deflating footballs? This is a man who rules with the, the most iron fist of any coach in the National Football League. He knows every detail. No, he has total control of the franchise, top to bottom, from a football perspective, right? Let me, let me direct traffic. There's something wrong with your mic. We're going to have to go to break. How do you know? Baby, you, you can hear him talking to you, well, I'm, I'm here for you because well, they, weren't they weren't hearing you. They weren't here. They weren't hearing for you because I want the audience, the world, to hear my man. Your say, mic's uh, messed up. The new we moderator, Kerry Champion. We'll be right back in break. just a few moments. That's <laughs> so what we're going to do. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to First Take. All texts are taken care of. Everyone can hear us. It's optimum. Stephen A., respond to Skip Bayless's point prior to break. It's not about what you know, it's about what you can prove. Oh. And the fact of the matter is, Ted Wells conducted an investigation, and the same investigation that you are leaning on mm. to validate and modify your stance about Tom Brady and whatever suspension he deserves, that same investigation completely exonerated Mr. Kraft, Bill Belichick, and the entire New England Patriots coaching staff. There was no evidence that they had any knowledge 
of what Tom Brady was probably doing. Mm. So based on that, I am in no way trying to imply that Bill Belichick knew nothing, whatever. I'm, I'm quite sure he knew something. I'm just of the belief that this man was preoccupied with a whole bunch of other stuff that was going on and left that device to Tom Brady. Now, you bring up Spygate. Let me say this to you. Out since Spygate, that very season, it was week one or week two that the Patriots got busted. They go 18-0 and that season after being fined. They go to the Super Bowl, lose to the Giants. You called it luck. They would have been the Super Bowl champions this year. Next season, 11-5. Next season after that, 10-6. Ever since then, they've been at least 12-4 and or better. So I'm like, all right, so this happened in 2007. So the seven years since, all these brothers been doing is winning. I'm a native New Yorker. I don't like too much about Boston. I'm a New Yorker. I root against all their teams. But. I have to give props and respect where it's due. You can sit there and talk that all you want to, but in the end, Bill Belichick shows up year after year after year and finds a way to beat you. And by the way, if you're so mad about it as a coach, why don't you find a way to cheat so you can be as effective, mm. okay? Because whatever the game is, is the game. And that's the that's part that we don't mention enough in sports. Brian Clark has a right to be offended by Bill Belichick and Tom Brady and whatever it is that you think they're doing. But if you were Mike Tomlin, I would be like, well, why aren't you doing it? If you were Sean Payton, I'd be like, why aren't you doing it? If you were somebody else, I'd be like, why aren't you doing it? Because whatever the game is within the game, they're winning. Everybody plays by their own. They all play by the same rules. Don't think for one second that whatever it is you want to incriminate Bill Belichick about, he's the only one doing it. He just finds a way to be better than you. Right. And whatever it is he's doing, that is your problem, not his. Well, I think the, the biggest thing is nobody's ever doubting their legacy as being a Hall of Fame coach and a Hall of Fame quarterback. Maybe he's the best quarterback of our time, and you talk about him in the, the Joe Montana's as being the best quarterback ever. But the fact that they have a culture of cheating is not, not debatable either. They cheat, and they try, and that's why people who play for New England love Bill Belichick. And they don't love him as a person. You know, I've had guys say, man, you know, you walk around the halls and you're scared to look up. That's because he does have so much control over everything. But in the end, we're not talking about their legacy. And in this situation, I agree with you. Bill Belichick, due to the report, should not be punished. But to say that he didn't know about it, that would be crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, he may have went down and said, hey, you know what? Tom wants his balls a certain way. Mm -hmm. Make sure his balls are a certain way. Mm -hmm. And because of the culture of cheating, right. or the culture of bending, That's what I'm saying. Uh, but because of the culture of bending the rules, I'm sure he didn't say, and you guys make sure they're within the limits of the pressure. That's right. <clears throat> but you can't punish him based off of what we think and what type of person we know he is. Not when the report exonerates him. I agree. Mm. First thing, I gotta mm -hmm. test my microphone. Is I know. it working? I think everything's working. Is it working? I think it's working. I, yours, Good. yours was out for a bit. Because, now we're all back in. It's because working. he had sabotaged my he, right? microphone in the last segment. <laughs> because because we knew I had it. Because you were running over. I was running I over. Yes. Do that. that only yeah. happens to you usually when you're talking basketball because the world yeah, knows you shouldn't yeah, be allowed yeah, to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, go ahead. Have you ever thought that maybe Bill Belichick was just a little slicker during the investigation than Tom Brady was? Tom Brady's one of those guys who just says, I, I, I just, I just did not, I don't think I was cheating, you know. I, Belichick avoided the Ted Wells investigation because he's a little more, if I may use this word, devious than Tom Brady. Mm. That's just me. That's just me. I'm sorry. In the end, he, he has to be punished at least as harshly as Tom Brady is. Why? Because Tom Brady is going to be punished more harshly because of Bill Belichick's cheating in the past, for which he was caught dead to rights during Spygate. Well, wait a okay. minute. Tom Brady, didn't he benefit from that? Sure. Yes, he did. Okay. So, 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 so the head coach? Oh, oh, no, no, no. What I'm saying to you is this. If you want to tell me that the man is at the, at the, at, at the helm and he's therefore is culpable, mm -hmm. okay, that's fine. I understand that. Okay. But don't tell me that he should be dealt with because of this particular scandal because he was wrong too when there's no evidence to prove that. Okay. In the end, what it comes down to is Bill Belichick, you call him devious, you call him slick, whatever the case may be. I'm sorry, you play in the NFL. 
When guys leave the New England Patriots, do you hear them complaining about the culture at the New England Patriots? Yeah. I don't. don't. I, I don't hear them. I don't hear former players going over about, hey, I have no problem with it. They actually <laughs> like playing there. <laughs> so, so I mean, I mean, you would think that if there's this culture of cheating, then they would be associated with cheating or they don Bill Belichick out. I don't hear any of that because going on. they like winning. That's right. They like That's winning. right. So He finds yeah. a way to be better. Right. Okay, so some people are saying that Brady will be punished because he did not fully cooperate and he lied to the Wells investigation. And Brady is saying, no, I did, through his lawyer so far, yes. I did cooperate and I'm telling the, the absolute truth. I knew nothing. Yeah, you know what, okay? you, know, this, 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 you have to understand that your statement is so ridiculous to me, especially with Ryan Clark right here in front of your face. Because if I, the two of you, I know would do this more so than most other people. Somebody accuses you of lying, of cheating, of questioning your character and your personal okay. integrity, and your lawyer and your daddy speaks for you, but you don't? How do you know really? that as we speak, he's not speaking straight to the commissioner with his lawyers at his side? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm talking about this. Listen. It's relevant because of public perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The masses believe yeah. that I your character Friday. has been impugned. Mm -hmm. You sat there and said, I've it. only had 30 hours to digest this. I don't care if it's 30 minutes. If you, what do you need to know? If you know that you are not a cheater and you know that you are not a liar, how is your daddy speaking up? ahead of you, for you. Why how is your coach? Now, just remember how we used to kill RG3 yes. because his daddy spoke. Right? Wait a minute. But he would speak for himself, too, now. Sometimes he talked too trouble. much. Yeah. And yeah. he got too himself much. in trouble. Yeah. But Tom Brady, uh, what do you guys think? What do you mean, what do you guys think? I saw the video. He's still right. smiling because he still got four rings. All right, it's ladies and true. gentlemen, that have to do it for us. All of right. our microphones are up and ready working. Ryan Clark, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Coming up next, it was another buzzer beater. You might have heard what he said. I call game, not bank. You know why he's there? Why is he there? You know why he's there? Why is he there? You know? They brought me here for this. You know. Who never make excuses. I heard them say, man, every play we call, I felt like they knew which play was coming. Really? Being against, wow. uh, playing with guys who, I would just say this about him, so obviously you're going to know who he is. One of the most unpredictable defensive players to ever play the game said, man, every time I would blitz, even if it was called, it was like they knew. They had the correct play call for it. And so when you think about things like that, as far as the players and the coaches are concerned, there is definitely a history uh, of cheating that has gone on with the New England Patriots. Now, you look at this situation. I got to practice with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady uh, this fall. And you got to watch them practice. Tom Brady, if there's a 15-yard uh, comeback and you don't run 15 yards. Let's talk about Deflate Gate. Although there are several stories speculating on punishment for the Patriots and Tom Brady, NFL sources tell us that no decision has been made as of today. Uh, here's what we do know. A suspension for Brady is certainly possible. And a decision could be made as early as this week. Mike Reese, our Patriots reporter, wrote, I truly can't believe what the commissioner has done to the legacy and reputation of one of the greatest quarterbacks and ambassadors in the history of the game. All over air pressure in a football and without definitive proof he had anything to do with it. Ryan Clark, our NFL analyst, tweeted the following last week. We all were generally aware that the Patriots pushed the rules. We also knew it was more probable than not that they cheat. No news here. Obviously, played against the Patriots before. Ryan, let's talk about Tom Brady. Uh, Mike Reese is trying to say that he's paying a price for what the Patriots' reputation is. Do you believe that yeah, will happen? I think that plays into it. It definitely does. You talk about a team uh, involved in Spygate, and that was a huge deal. You know, if people feel like they won Super Bowls mm -hmm. uh, through Spygate. Uh, I played in Pittsburgh. When you play in Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots were always fighting for the AFC Championship, always fighting to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, and being around a lot of men who tease on the guys, if the ball's not right, he doesn't have the ball centered where he wants it. If it's not on the right hash when the play's supposed to be there, he's talking to the ball boys. He's getting the equipment managers lined up and where he wants them to go. Bill Belichick wouldn't even go to the offensive field 
when Tom Brady was over there with the offense running the plays because he had that much control over there and Bill oversaw everything. So when you look at this situation, quarterbacks who don't win football games, who don't win Super Bowls, have the balls exactly how they want the balls. And if they're not, the equipment managers, the ball boys, they have to fix it. So to think that Tom Brady knew nothing about what was going on with these balls or didn't order them to have them a certain way would be foolish. Mm -hmm. Now the punishment you look at Carolina, they had a, a situation to where, you know, they had stick them on, they had stick them on, San Diego had stick them on, um, on their towels, you know, they were punished. Mm -hmm. Atlanta Falcons, pumping crowd noise into the stadium, mm -hmm. they were punished, they lost a, uh, they lost a draft pick, they were also fined. The this Vikings is, and Panthers were the, heating their balls. Heating their balls. But they were warned, degrees. right? They, didn't right. Any, they got warned. They got, they got warned. warned. Mm -hmm. So this situation, when you bring up the report, when, when Ted Wells becomes involved, when it's such a huge game, when it's such a big deal, and you combine that with what the Patriots have done previously, Tom Brady's definitely going to pay a price for it. He gained a competitive